Growing up with the original Luigi's Mansion, I never truly thought we would ever see anything else from the series. I mean, it's been so long since we finally got the follow-up with Dark Moon on the Nintendo 3DS, but even then, I was still a little bit skeptic if we would ever see it once again on a home mainline console. And of course, Luigi's Mansion 3 came out on the Nintendo Switch. The recent Nintendo Switch sales report came out, and it shows that Luigi's Mansion 3 has now sold over 12 million in sales, which is absolutely insane. I mean, seriously, it's more than most titles on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, let's look at the Switch in general. It is currently sitting at the number 16 slot which is insane when you look at the Switch software. You know, you got games like Mario Kart 8, Animal Crossing, Smash Brothers, Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Pokemon, like tons of Pokemon, Mario Parties, Ring Fit, and for Luigi's Mansion 3 to be up there with the greats is insane. This is a series, remember, with only three games in the franchise, and everything else has just been ports or remakes or, you know, ports and <laughs> there's nothing else really there so i mean look luigi's mansion has always sold pretty decently though the original luigi's mansion on the gamecube sold 3.33 million the 3ds dark moon game sold 6.47 million which is a ton for a 3ds game the original game that was ported to the 3ds didn't even crack half a mil which is very low but you know it is a port of the original game on a handheld console which was a weird choice for nintendo that should have just been brought to the switch but then we had Luigi's Mansion 3 with 12.82 million. And we still have more games to look forward to. Dark Moon is coming to the Switch. And then there's probably even going to be a Luigi's Mansion 4 the following year. I mean, there's so much to talk about with Luigi's Mansion. That's why I wanted to really focus today, because it is becoming Nintendo's, or one of Nintendo's, major franchises. Think about it. We went a whopping 12 years from 2001 to 2013 before we even saw another Luigi's Mansion, which was to Dark Moon. And this was probably due to the fact that Nintendo didn't know if people would really care that much again about Luigi sucking up ghosts. And, you know, there's one thing with Nintendo. When they see dollar signs, they see success, they're going to push it. And as you can see, the gap has been shorter ever since. Then we went from 2013 to 2018, where we got a remake of Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS, which was only five years. And then the next year, in 2019, we got Luigi's Mansion 3. In 2020, we got more DLC for Luigi's Mansion 3 and updates to add to the game. Then it will be four years when Dark Moon comes out and five years in 2025, which we could probably expect another Luigi's Mansion, especially based on what they did in the past, where they had a remake on the 3DS of the original, and then the following year, a new game. The same thing could be happening here. A remake of Dark Moon in early 2024, and then obviously for 2025, Luigi's Mansion 4. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that Nintendo can do with Luigi's Mansion, and they are definitely going to be pushing it in the right direction because of just how amazing these sales have been. Something else I want to add is that Luigi's Mansion has been everywhere. I mean, literally in all types of other games, as spin-offs and trailers. I mean, literally Smash Brothers Ultimate had a whole trailer for Simon and Richter that kind of bounced off of Luigi's Mansion as well. Luigi's Mansion was actually pushed in that game for Luigi's moveset, giving him a new grab and kind of tying it into his final smash with the Poltergust. We see that in Nintendo Land, he had his own individual game over some of other Nintendo's bigger IPs. We see that he had, you know, stages and spin-offs like Mario Kart and even Mario Power Tennis had many games involving the ghost and stuff. I mean, seriously, Luigi's Mansion is weaved and intergrained into pretty much all Nintendo. Like, Luigi's identity is now to capture ghosts. That's who he is, which whether you like it or not, you're just gonna have to come to the conclusion of that's what Nintendo wants to do with the character. And I really couldn't like it anymore because I love that idea. Mario has been on top for a while, but his brother finally is bringing in a big series, not just for Mario and Luigi, but for Nintendo in general. I mean, seriously, it's going to be a top of the line franchise. Now, it's not a matter of can Nintendo make a Luigi's Mansion 4? Will they make a Luigi's Mansion 4? No, not at all. In fact, the only question you should be asking is when, because it's happening. It's probably in mid-production, if not almost towards the end. And for a while there, I was actually thinking that they were going to somehow find a way to squeeze Luigi's Mansion 4 onto the Switch before moving on to the next console. And that unfortunately might not be the case, 
but I would be very shocked if they weren't already working on this thing for the next gen console, and it's not gonna be at least year two of the Nintendo Switch Pro or whatever we're waiting for, because it just makes sense. And honestly, they don't even have to just keep it mainline games. I could seriously see them maybe even making spinoffs, maybe like a multiplayer Luigi's Mansion game that's focused on online play and playing with friends and going through scare scrapers again, just like all focused on online play. That would be very unique. I could see spin-offs being made and smaller titles and, you know, stuff to get us entertained in between releases. I mean, look at Kirby. Kirby's almost having a game every year. Seriously, whether it's a small title, whether it's a big one, whether it's a 2D, a 3D, a port, a remake, a remaster, whatever it is, it seems like Kirby is present every single year and maybe somehow Luigi's Mansion turns into that. Now there's not many other games for them to remake or remaster. I mean seriously I think the last thing that they could possibly do is make the original version better and put it on the Switch instead of having that just on the GameCube and the 3DS which was just so weird. Put it on the Switch like what was that choice? For this inevitable new game, I had so many ideas. I mean, I think I've made like six or seven videos based off of just some basic ideas that they could go to next, especially after doing like a haunted hotel they did with Luigi's Mansion 3. I said they could do like a creepy castle. They could do like like a Luigi's castle. Come on, that'd be cool. They could do a cruise ship, some type of haunted train, some type of haunted island that Luigi's stuck on. I mean, seriously, the possibilities are endless. They could just go back to a mansion. I mean, I think I would be fine with like the next four Luigi's Mansion games just being a big mansion again. Seriously, there's just so much ideas and stuff left on the table. I'm telling you right now, there's enough content to be made for this series to go on like every four years for the next like 30, 40 years. So like they're set with content. There's so much stuff you can do with Luigi's Mansion. But even with that said, we gotta look at next level games. What else could they be working on? Well, they looked on Mario Strikers Battle League yeah, in 2022, so nothing else since then. And what else could they be working on? Unless they're working on like a, a new Punch-Out game, uh, maybe Metroid Prime they could be helping out with, with Metroid Prime 4 as they did help with Metroid Prime 1 and Metroid Prime Federation Force. So there is a chance they could be helping with the new Prime game and maybe that's why they're like very busy with that for now. But let's face it, I know Nintendo probably came to them and said, look, you guys are 100% a Luigi's Mansion team now focus on the next Luigi's Mansion, and I'm sure we will actually see of the game probably next year. I'd be very shocked if we don't see anything Luigi's Mansion related maybe later on in the year. Like the last like fall direct, or maybe even E3 time, we'll probably won't have an E3, but E3 direct time, we'll see something or hear something about a future Luigi's Mansion. I almost forgot, it doesn't even end there at the games. Luigi's Mansion has even been kind of infiltrated within the movies with Super Mario Brothers movie, he actually has like a whole scene where it has, you know, complete Luigi's Mansion feels all over it. There's like a Luigi's Mansion theme song playing in the background a little bit. It has Luigi in this scary area with a flashlight and bats and creepy shy guys and snippets and dry bones are coming out of the ground to chase him. And there's even rumors now of a Luigi's Mansion movie coming out. I mean, seriously, it feels like they're developing a whole world around this character and around this franchise. If they start getting movies out about Luigi, like the games are just gonna fall everything is just gonna walk in line in a perfect way and we're gonna have some amazing Luigi's Mansion content for years to come. The point of this video is I want to thank Next Level Games, I want to thank Nintendo, and I want to thank all Luigi's Mansion fans for making this possible. For making this, you know, even a thing that we can talk about. Future of Luigi's Mansion, it was something just a couple of years ago I really never thought we'd be able to sit and have discussions about and it makes me so happy because I love the creepiness, I love the puzzles, I love the collect-a-thon, I love collecting ghosts and all the secrets of each level and just all the amazing easter eggs and secrets that Next Level Games hides into these games. I mean, they're seriously just made and crafted with so much love and they have some of the best graphics within the entire Nintendo game catalog. So I am just so happy to have the potential to hope and wish for the future of this series and it's going to be a great one. But let me know in the comments down below how excited you are 
for Luigi's Mansion 4. How excited are you for the Dark Moon remake on the Switch, or the port really? But just let me know down below how excited you are, and just show your love for Luigi down below. But thank you so much for tuning in. If you're really excited for the future of Luigi's Mansion, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. It helps out a lot where we're going to be talking about this game and this series for a long time, so make sure you're subscribed. It'll only take a second, but thank you so much for tuning in, and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.